Hey YouTubers, this is Gary and uh, Little Meow coming to you with uh, an update video on the uh, ATV, the four-wheeler. Um, finally got the uh, intake manifold problem corrected and uh, I'm down to the point of where I was ready to paint it and uh, I really was kind of having trouble deciding upon a, a paint scheme. Most, uh, you want to go to sleep, don't you? Yeah. You just, uh, you're just not into fronting, are you? You want to go night night? Yeah. Okay, let's put you over here and let you, uh, chill out on the, uh, recliner. What do you think, bud? Huh? Yeah? Is that a good thing? Oh, well, recliner's kind of full, isn't it? All right. Anyway, um, don't do it here. What did I? Here we go. Here we go. Kind of, uh, kind of difficult to make these uh, YouTube videos. Not a cigar sometimes. Anyway, okay. Back to the uh, paint job on the four wheeler. You know, uh, a lot of times, or or most of the times, the ones that I'm familiar with, um, the uh, the fender, everything is uh, plastic. You know, PVC, and it's usually molded into the color scheme. Uh, that it is and the rest of it is uh, stickers you know and uh, so I was kind of wondering what in the hell was I gonna do on this for a paint scheme um, was uh, a, lot of, a lot of these paint schemes are rather dull you know and uh, since they're kind of a utility type of thing I can understand that anyway you know doing a really fancy paint job uh, like getting out my guns and all that stuff and making a fancy paint job uh, That's very time-consuming and I just Fucking wasn't into it, you know So I thought how do I you know? Uh, actually, how do I make a paint job on here with spray cans that uh, is gonna look you know fairly cool, but yet uh, You know Incorporate all of the uh, you know, bad stuff that happens with uh, spray can paint job and have it, you know, people say it still looks alright. So, uh, this is what I came up with. After uh, much ado, this is my, uh, this is my scheme. And uh, I don't think it turned out too bad. Kind of a, kind of a Ted Nugent uh, zebra. Kind of a Ted Nugent Zebra platform, I guess you'd say. And uh, here's the other one. There's the other part of it over there. And uh, I don't think it turned out too bad. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to decide whether I want to uh, whether I whether I want to leave it like that or put some clear over it. You know, if I can find some clear in a spray can. Clear is kind of hard to put on sometimes and not really fuck it all up. But what's kind of cool about this is this paint job is uh, with this kind of zebra scheme on it. Um, what you do is you hang it up and let it dry, and where there's runs, for instance, like let's say, uh, let's say right here there's a run in the black. What I'll do is get a can of white and I'll shoot that across here, take that run right out. Anyway, as you stack this, uh, as you stack the white and the black on top of each other, it kind of gets neater and neater looking, I think. It kind of, kind of has like, a, almost like a 3D effect, the way the colors kind of fade into each other. Anyway, I think it's going to be a rather alright scheme. It's going to be like that. It's going to have gold rims. Um... I'm going to put, there's a rim that's been painted that's on there. Um, i got to put tubes in them yet. And uh, things are, things are kind of going forward. I know that I'm, I'm kind of going slow, but currently I'm doing the roof on the house at the same time as I'm doing all of this stuff, so. Hey, you know, um, today... After uh, shooting that little bit of um, video where I showed you uh, 
you know, the, like the front and the back fender, the, the zebra type scheme on there. Well, I decided that I'd go ahead and just uh, set that upon the, the frame of the four wheeler so you kind of get an idea of what it was going to look like. And um, it's either one of those, it's a love hate type of thing. You either really like it or you hate it and you think it looks cheap and disgusting. About half and half so far. Anyway, um, I kind of like it. Uh, I'm getting ready to show it to you, but I want you to keep one thing in mind. You know, I, I painted the rims gold. I've got two of them painted so far. But, um, and this is what I'd like, I'd like comments on, is um, uh, my, my best friend told me that the gold doesn't go with the paint scheme. He said that uh, it would look much better if I would uh, paint the rim silver. Let me know what you think. I, I tend to agree with him. Um, he's pretty good. Uh, I, I, I think his view is pretty good on this type of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to stand back and I'm going to shoot it. And, and keep in mind, you know, um, this stuff isn't locked down or nothing. I, I just kind of set it up on there to, to just give the idea what it's going to be like uh, when it's finished, you know. But it's, it's getting there. And uh, I think it looks kind of cool myself. But uh, let me know what you think. We'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to kill this light. And... Uh, Try to get up here a little higher so you can see it. Uh, here it is. We get down here and shoot another. Uh, here's the. Well, you can't really tell color though, can you? Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and put this other light on it. And uh, see if that helps at all. Uh, yeah. I think it's cool as hell. But, like, uh, the rims are gold. Let me turn that other light back on and see if... Uh, yeah, I guess that gives you a little... Uh, here, let me, let me do this. Yeah, there you go. That gives you a better kind of a... You know, don't you think it would look better if the rims were silver, like my buddy said? Um, or do you think it looks good with the gold rims? Anyway, uh, there she is, kind of stouting about, you know. Anyway, that's what it's going to look like. And, uh, you know, I, I still got some uh, little engine work and odds and ends to do, but that's cool, ain't it? That's really neat. That's my free... Yamaha 350 Grizzly, man. That's going to really be stout when I get done with it. That is really going to be a neat setup. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload this and, and uh, let you all get a look at it.